Almost 15 days back, I reviewed Hyperflow. Now that's a performance shoe by Elever. And Elever claims that it's their best entry-level workout trainer. Now I was not really impressed with this statement, but I still wanted to go ahead and try these shoes. I used these shoes for two weeks for my workouts and boom, I hit the reality. So in this video today, I'm going to share you all the positive points and one negative point about this shoe that I felt Elever could have done better and also compare this shoe with other market leaders in cross-training shoe segment. So are you excited to hear it all? Let's go ahead and let's do this. Now one thing that I want to highlight right at the beginning of this video is the value proposition attached to this shoe. Now cross training or workout shoe market in India is highly priced. So when you are out to search for a good training shoes, you would realize that the prices easily go up to 8,000 or 10,000 rupees. And this pushes us to use any shoe for workout and that's very dangerous. If you look at other training shoes like Nike Metcon, Under Armour Tribase or Reebok Nano X1, these all are available in a price range of 8000 or more. Now Elever Hyperflow is only for 4500 rupees and for the price that you pay, you are able to get a shoe that helps you perform all those complicated movements that you generally see in a cross training workout. For this price, it's difficult to even get a decent running shoe. And here, we are talking about a multi-use workout trainer. Now, let me ask you all, what all do you exactly look out in a shoe when you're out to buy a trainer? Here is my response. For me, comfort is the top priority alongside the safety of my feet. And then comes the functionality aspect. I don't really focus on the looks part because I'm going in for trainers. And to be honest, Elever has kept the look of the Hyperflow shoe as minimal as possible. Interesting features that I talked in my last video also, like the right foam technology throughout the sole unit and decent stability around the heel unit. And finally, the most important and impressive feature of Hyperflow is this full lace cage unit. This is a fully TPU supported lace unit that offers way better medial support. You can actually watch it here. Now look at this, when I tighten the laces, it activates the midsole unit and makes my feet locked in the shoe. This is very important while I make lateral movements. At the start of the video, I had promised that I'll be sharing the positive as well as the negatives about this shoe. And this is one point that I felt Elever could have done better. That's the midsole support. The lace cage unit is the only thing to offer support to the midsole. An additional wrap around the medial part of the shoe could have offered it exceptional support. But I understand that this feature will add to the weight and also to the cost of the shoe. Right now, this shoe feels quite light and I'm pretty happy with that. That's all for today guys. I hope you're enjoying the content that we put on Smart Kicks. And if you do, please share this video with your friends also. I'm also quite active on Instagram, so you can just drop your DM. Don't miss out on subscribing to the channel because that's how we grow. We have already crossed 7,500 subscribers and looking forward to hit 10,000. If you're planning to go to the gym, go and buy these shoes right now. Till my next video, you guys stay fit and keep watching Smart Kicks.